Football star Jabbar Gaffney's trial is set to begin in less than an hour, but this morning his attorney is expected to ask for more time. Gaffney is scheduled to appear in court this morning specifically for a final pre-trial hearing. He's facing a felony <coughs> charge after police say he was caught on surveillance video vandalizing a car belonging to his former friend and teammate Lido Shepard. In the video, a man and woman are seen parking near Shepard's car, right next to it in fact, and then putting something into the gas tank before slashing all four tires. Gaffney says he is not the man in this video. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is joining us live right now. Ashley Gaffney's attorney says there's still some work to do in the case before he can go to trial. Yes, Jen. In fact, they filed this motion saying that the prosecution and the defense have agreed to a continuance. When you boil this all down, it says they need more time to look at the evidence. Last month, the state provided invoices showing the repairs to Shepard's car were reduced from 14000 to 7770 This would reduce the amount of money prosecutors would want Jabbar Gaffney to pay. The motion goes on to say the state has not provided any proof of how much of the repair bill was paid. Last week, News for Jax did a sit-down interview with Jabbar Gaffney because he said he wanted to set the record straight. He told our Janice Harris he is not the man in the surveillance video and explained that their relationship had turned sour. He says he does not know why the relationship with Shepard changed, but believes he is misunderstood. At what point did it fall apart, your relationship with Lido Shepard? Um, that part I don't really know. Um, I, I'll take it at, uh -huh. uh, on Father's Day. <laughs> I'll take it of uh, that, last year. Yeah. So before then, you all had never fallen out before. He never had anything to do with you and your ex-wife breaking up. No, that was just a decision came to between me and my ex-wife at that time. To I mean, we just weren't working. We weren't working together. So. And jury selection is expected to begin in May 20th, six days from now. Of course, we'll keep an eye on the judge's ruling. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.